Hello everyone, welcome to Social Tech Diary. Today's video is on ORM concept in computer science. In this video, we will learn about what is ORM, why and when we will be using it. Before jumping to the video, please subscribe to my channel for more such educational videos. Let's start. ORM stands for Object Relationship Mapping. In this virtual world, we have two main things to work with data or information which resides in database for example your social media profile information your bank details etc on the other hand we have the application which interacts with data but how will we fetch or utilize this data so in order to fetch the data from the database we need application to access the data like in order to fetch your facebook profile data programmer needs to use facebook application apis to fetch the data. So what is database? Location where collection of information is organized so that it can be easily accessed, managed and updated refers as database. There are different types of database but today we will be referring to relational database when we mentioning database throughout this video. We will take an example to understand it better. Let's say you own a coffee house. In this business, you will store the data in database in terms of query tables, say employee, account, item in your coffee shop, customer who visits your coffee shop, etc. Now let's take the customer example and understand how will it represent in database and application. In database, let's see how query table data looks like for the customer. We will have a customer ID, name, address, phone number. While in application, in order to represent the customer information, we will have a class written in any object-oriented programming language, say C Sharp, Java, Python, etc. So class attributes will be customer ID of type int, name, address, phone number, of type string, with class name as customer. In case of database, we store the data in terms of rows and columns within our table. While in application, we store them in class object form. So we see there is a mismatch in these models how they store the data. This mismatch between database and application is known as impedance mismatch. Let's take a closer look on these mismatches between these two models. In object-oriented programming language for writing application, we have the concept of inheritance and polymorphism with which we can extend or generalize the behavior of the object. For example, a customer can be extended to VIP customer or gold customer as per their privilege category defined by the business owner. So basic customer information can be derived from a customer class and additional information specific to respective class can be added to drive class directly. Similarly, using polymorphism intended drive class object can be used from base class objects. But in database, in general, there is no concept of inheritance or polymorphism. In case of granularity, in database, we have customer class with name, phone number and address information which can be further divided into customer name info and add customer address info class for granularity in application and vice versa a single class in application can be split into multiple query table as per business or system requirements. In case of association let's say we have separate class for customer name info and address info. We can access address info from customer name info class by adding the object of address info class in customer info class. So in application, there is a sense of association or directionality. While in case of database, user can use SQL join to fetch required information from two independent query tables. So there is no sense of directionality or association in database. Now the question is what 
should I as an application developer do to resolve this impedance mismatch between these two models? I can write my own data layer to connect application to database. But when we transit from one database to another, it will not be very smooth transition. As an application developer, I want to focus on developing my application for business requirements rather than worrying about impedance mismatch between these two models. ORM is here for your rescue. It is a data layer which hides all the complexity of dealing with different mismatch scenarios that we discussed so far. Application developer needs to configure it properly in order to use it optimally. In Java, we have Hibernate and in Python, we have Django framework which has inbuilt ORM functionality. I hope this video is helpful to understand ORM concept. Let me know in comment section which other topics you want me to cover in future. If you like this video, hit the like button and share it with your friend and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel to see more such educational videos in future. Thank you for your time. See you in my next video.